There are times when life seems to defeat us, when emotions turn into a fire within the soul, and we lose control. But there is a way to prevent this from happening and, at the same time, not become a completely emotionless person. Many people mistakenly interpret Stoicism as indifference, but in reality, Stoicism is not about becoming indifferent, but about learning how to deal with emotions wisely. Imagine being able to control and use your emotions as a powerful tool to achieve your goals and live a happier life. Would you like to know how to achieve this goal? Then subscribe to the channel, Moat Investing Stoicism, and find out now. Today, we will delve into the world of Stoic philosophy to learn about seven principles that not only help us control our emotions, but also turn them into a powerful weapon for personal development. Join us on this exciting journey and discover how Stoicism can change your life. Rule number one, eliminate toxic people from your life. The people we choose to have in our lives play a significant role in shaping our emotions, thoughts, and overall well-being. Just as one rotten fruit can spoil the entire basket when it comes in contact with the others, being in contact with a toxic person can drain the energy from your life and leave you insecure about your own decisions. According to Stoic philosophy, one of the most important principles is self-control and the protection of your inner peace. You need to understand that we cannot control the behavior of others, but we have the right to choose our relationships. Diogenes, a famous philosopher, once said that we have two ears and one tongue so that we can listen more and speak less. This reminds us to be mindful of the people we befriend and to listen to our intuition. Toxic individuals can take many forms. Constant complainers and pessimists, those who frequently create conflict or have a negative attitude towards life. They can lower your motivation, disrupt your mindset, and even hinder your progress on the path of self-improvement. Imagine being in a situation where someone constantly complains about everything and speaks poorly of others. Initially, you try to understand and support this person, but over time, you realize that every encounter and conversation leaves you feeling heavy and negative. After careful consideration, you decide to reduce contact with that person, choosing not to engage in negative conversations and instead spending time with other friends who bring positive energy. Stoicism emphasizes living a virtuous and meaningful life, where preserving inner peace and focusing on what is important is a top priority. This means that sometimes we need to make difficult decisions, such as cutting off relationships with people who do not contribute positively to our lives. It's not about harboring hostility, but about recognizing this for the sake of our minds and spirits. Some relationships may need to be broken off or distanced. Eliminating these people will not only help you remain optimistic and motivated, but will also make personal growth easier. You will have more space and energy to focus on your goals, improving relationships with people who support and inspire you. It wasn't an act of selfishness, but an important step on the path to autonomy and spiritual freedom. According to Stoic theory, when you realize that each of us has the right and responsibility for our own happiness and peace, and sometimes this means staying away from negative factors. Remember that the journey to controlling your emotions begins by ensuring that your external influences align with your internal goals. Rule number two, set boundaries and stop being always available. Personal boundaries play a crucial role in maintaining a sense of identity in many aspects. Establishing personal boundaries is not only an act of self-protection but also an important step in maintaining balance and inner peace. However, personal boundaries are often underestimated by people. As Seneca once said, nothing is ours except the time that we often waste. We waste our time with others, responding to their requests immediately, without setting boundaries. We send a message to the world that our time, energy, and mental health are not valuable. This can lead to exhaustion, envy, sadness, depression, and overwhelming pressure. It seems that we leave the door and windows of our house open, allowing anyone and anything to disturb our peace. 
Suppose you are someone who is always willing to work day and night for your boss. You don't refuse any requests from others and sometimes feel exhausted. When you apply this stoic principle, you begin to set boundaries for your time. You make thoughtful decisions and say, no, when you feel you have reached your limit and need private time. This allows you to not work continuously and have time to relax, leading to a more balanced life. Therefore, establishing boundaries helps us recognize and respect our own needs and limitations. When we set aside time for reflection and listen to our inner needs, we learn how to respond to situations wisely and thoughtfully, rather than reacting impulsively or emotionally. This not only helps us better control our emotions but also makes us more responsible in all relationships. Setting boundaries doesn't mean you become selfish or indifferent to others. Instead, it allows you to interact with the world in a healthy and sustainable way, ensuring that you don't become emotionally and mentally exhausted. By controlling your time and space, you will be better equipped to face and deal with difficult situations calmly. Rule number three, don't love anyone too much. Love is a beautiful emotion, where we connect to a happy and meaningful life that we always desire. According to Stoic philosophy, love and emotions are precious, but loving excessively can lead to unwanted consequences. Stoic philosophy, which valued emotional resilience, often spoke about the danger of attachment. As Marcus Aurelius once said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. The strength he refers to here is the ability to love without being overly attached. It is the strength to appreciate the beauty of a moment without letting it define your entire existence. In our personal lives, this lesson becomes clearer than ever. Imagine a situation where we invest a lot of emotion in someone. This becomes a double-edged sword, as we can become overly dependent and willing to sacrifice a lot for them. This can cause pain when that person does not reciprocate our feelings as we expected. Moreover, if that person distances themselves from us or there is a loss, we may experience unnecessary suffering. Stoic philosophy encourages us to love others freely and sincerely, while valuing spiritual independence. This means finding a balance between love and self-sufficiency. We should not allow our emotions to depend on the actions or opinions of others. Instead, we should keep our souls independent and strong. You can love without being easily hurt. Learning to love, freely control your emotions, and not letting them dominate your life will make us more patient, fearless of change, and able to calmly overcome the challenges of life. Remember that Stoic philosophy does not suggest that we become indifferent or completely cold inside. Instead, we are learning how to control and manage our emotions for a calm and prosperous life. By mastering the art of loving without excessive attachment, you not only protect your heart but also honor your spirit. You become able to form deep connections without losing yourself in them. This is the first step to truly becoming emotionally insensitive, where you control your emotions and they do not control you. Rule number four, don't refrain from expressing your feelings and opinions. In our daily lives, we often encounter situations full of pressure and conflict. In such moments, we are encouraged to remain calm and serene, rather than letting our emotions and opinions explode with great fervor. Stoic philosophy often emphasizes the importance of inner calm and the danger of seeking recognition from others. Marcus Aurelius once said that, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. This statement highlights the idea that we should not rely excessively on being recognized by others. Think about the times you shared a personal accomplishment with other people, seeking recognition or their opinions. What did you often receive in return? Be it ridiculous criticism or even mockery. Such experiences can hurt your feelings and undermine your self-confidence. 
Therefore, the goal of the fourth rule in Stoic philosophy is to help us avoid unnecessary conflict and ensure that we do not cause unwanted consequences in our communication. Instead of reacting impulsively when agitated by our emotions and opinions, this rule encourages us to listen and understand others first. This not only creates a positive communication environment but also helps us learn to control our emotions. Instead of letting emotions arise naturally and uncontrollably, we can manage them to ensure that they do not dominate our decisions and lead to unwanted actions or experiences. However, this perspective does not suggest that we should completely suppress our emotions and opinions. Instead, we should find ways to express them thoughtfully. This means that we should consider before speaking or acting, ensuring that they do not cause conflict or become uncontrollable. This skill is not only beneficial for maintaining stability in our relationships with others but is also useful in our daily lives, as it helps us demonstrate patience and wise choices in various situations, from work to family and social life. Rule number five, don't care about everyone and become less compassionate. The ability to understand and share the emotions of others, empathetic compassion, is often considered one of the noblest moral qualities of human beings. In a world full of touching and challenging stories from other people, we can easily become overly authoritative in our emotions if we are too concerned about them. Epictetus, the famous Stoic philosopher, once said, It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This understanding is especially true when it comes to compassion. We often face difficult situations with the emotions of others. How we demonstrate passion in these situations can impact the way we live and bring about changes in their lives. Instead of being dominated by the emotions and situations around us, Stoic philosophy encourages us to learn to control our reactions. Compassion does not mean that we have to endure everything or take on the responsibilities of everyone. But rather that we need to distinguish between what we can control and what we cannot. This rule encourages us not to put ourselves in situations where we feel obligated to help everyone and share all their difficulties. Instead, we should practice sharing and caring wisely. This means that you should focus on helping those who truly need your support and have the potential to positively change their lives. If you work in an office and have a colleague who is struggling at work, you want to show compassion and support them in any way you can, but you also know that you have worked hard all day and are feeling tired. In this case, you can apply the principle of compassion selection, choosing when to invest emotions and when to maintain a healthy emotional distance. By doing so, you protect yourself from unnecessary emotional fluctuations and ensure that when you decide to care, it is genuine, focused, and impactful. Instead of continuing to work all day and share all the pressure with your colleague, you can choose to contact and proactively support them at the right time, after work. This helps you protect your mind and energy to continue working effectively and provide focused and helpful care when your colleague needs support. When we care too much about everyone, we can lose focus on ourselves and our goals. This can lead to fatigue and imbalance in life. Instead of becoming overly empathetic and losing independence, you can practice self-care and maintain the stoic spirit of control and reason. By applying rule number five, we can approach compassion with discernment and focus on meaningful and positive actions. This not only helps us maintain control over our minds and emotions, but also creates conditions for positive interaction, action, and support for others. What happens to you is not important, but how you react to it is what really matters. Compassion in Stoic philosophy is not just feeling, but acting with understanding and control. Rule number six, put yourself first and be direct. As we approach the end of the journey, Elevation is essential. We need to prioritize ourselves and be honest with ourselves. In modern life, we often face pressure from society, family, and the environment around us, which can lead us to put others and situations ahead of ourselves, making our emotions complex and even out of control. However, Stoic philosophy suggests that to control emotions, 
We need to take care of ourselves first. Consider the safety instructions on the plane. You are instructed to put on an oxygen mask before helping other people. This is not just a safety rule but also an important reminder of self-protection in an emergency on a plane. Ensuring that you have enough oxygen to breathe is crucial to maintaining alertness and effectively helping others. Prioritizing yourself also means focusing on personal improvement. We should not be overly concerned with the opinions of others. Instead, we should focus on self-development and becoming better each day. Sometimes, setting boundaries and rejecting requests that do not align with our goals and values is also an important part of putting ourselves first. Moreover, honesty is another crucial aspect of emotional strength. It is not just expressing our thoughts and emotions but also the ability to live, listen, confront feedback from others in an open and constructive way. When we demonstrate honesty in communication, we help eliminate misunderstandings and gain a better understanding of the situation. Honesty also helps us face difficulties and challenges courageously. Instead of avoiding and hiding emotions, we can face them and find constructive solutions, which helps increase our emotional strength and promotes personal development. Remember that putting yourself first and practicing honesty does not mean a lack of compassion or not caring about others. Instead, it is a way for us to better contribute to others. After managing ourselves well, adhering to rule number six will help you build confidence, create a more spiritually uplifting life, and gain better control over your emotions. Rule number seven, embrace adversity and find strength in challenges. Life is not always smooth, and challenges can arise at any time. From difficult work situations to problems in relationships and personal health. Instead of being afraid, we can learn to see them as opportunities for growth and maturity. Accepting difficulties does not mean giving up. Instead, we can find ways to make the most of every situation, even the challenges, to become stronger. In every challenge, we can seek our inner strength, develop patience and resilience, and learn from experiences. One of the important benefits of accepting difficulties and facing challenges is the ability to control emotions. In daily life, we often encounter stressful situations, full of pressure and challenges that we cannot avoid. As much as Stoic philosophy helps us build emotional control, maintaining an optimistic and calm spirit in all situations is essential. For example, when you face a major project with an imminent deadline, instead of letting fear and pressure dominate your decisions, learn to stay calm, focus on the task, and seek solutions. After practicing these principles, you complete the project on time and go through difficult situations with confidence and patience. Emotional control also helps us maintain better relationships with others. We can avoid conflict and demonstrate patience and reason in communication with others. Marcus Aurelius, one of the famous Stoic philosophers, wrote that you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This is one of the most important principles of Stoic philosophy and emphasizes the power of controlling emotions in our lives. This principle highlights the importance of recognizing that we cannot fully control external events in our lives. The world can bring unpredictable changes and there are situations we cannot change. However, what we can control completely is our mind and how we react to these events. When we realize that strength lies in our ability to control our minds, we become more confident and resilient in all situations. We are no longer slaves to emotions, but instead, we become masters of emotions. This helps us maintain a calm optimism and an unwavering spirit in the face of difficulties. With this final rule, we can build a spirit of patience and face life with greater strength, laying the foundation for a future that we are proud of. This is one of the fundamental principles of Stoic philosophy to guide our lives and help us become better versions of ourselves. With the seven Stoic rules, you have equipped yourself with the strength of a spiritual warrior. Let the fire of wisdom and determination within you govern your life.
Every difficulty and challenge are just opportunities to grow and ignite. Remember that life is constantly changing, and it is you who controls your own journey. Never let negative things take away your focus and determination. You have the ability to control your mind and choose how to deal with each situation. Before we conclude today's journey, make sure you have subscribed to our channel to never miss sources of encouragement and valuable knowledge. Stoic philosophy will always be with you on the path to conquering life. Remember to click the like and share buttons to spread Stoic philosophy to more people. Don't forget to leave a comment below the video and if you don't know what to say, leave a comment saying, Moat Investing Stoicism, so we know you're ready to apply these rules to your life. Continue on the journey and always unleash the strong human being within you to conquer every day. Life is like a battle, and you are the winner. Stay with God. Bonus. What to do when someone disrespects you? First, don't smile or laugh. These are stress responses to try to appease the situation, and the person will likely continue to disrespect you. Then, just watch and don't react. Most people will become uncomfortable and not know what to say, or they will say, Oh, it's just a joke. This takes away the power that person would have over you because they are explaining themselves and reacting, while you have asserted yourself, drawn your line, and have not been complacent in laughing at what you didn't find funny. And that is what matters. Don't let others walk all over you. Your self-esteem will thank you.